Hello and welcome, and it is the uh, 5th day of April 2017. This time is wrong, but let's take a look at G and T on the 4-hour time frame. And let's try to make sense of these markets as it's currently in this sideways pattern. And it was in a bullish run. But it has found resistance at previous support with a little bit of a declining 18 average. So neutral to say the least. I sold a little bit in here. I wish I would have sold all the way up here. And I should have because I knew better. But I did sell out up here. A little bit in here when I realized this thing was probably going to... Uh, have a decent chance of going lower or less of a chance of going higher and I was correct but I was looking buy back in and I wanted to buy back in like right around here just below the low in fact I had about five buy orders in with the biggest one not being executed I had the small one executed and didn't come through now I don't know if I would have wanted it because I had a small push up here and if this ends up breaking down I'm going to be glad that I didn't get the buy order, but where do I put one in now? I need key Fibonacci, and 1502 is the low not shown on the screen. It precedes this chart, but it's the low. It's a very important and key low. But which high do I choose? Do I take the insane level, or do I take what looks to be the best alternate one, and that would be in here? Well, within the insane level, I have a 61.8 mark at 30 or 73.58, which has been a hit. And the next level down is at around 4 even. If I switch the Fibonacci, and I'm going to change the scaling as well so that it looks easier to read. Let's do that now within this Fibonacci. There we go. The first Fibonacci line, 23.6% down. Uh, sort of hit, but not really. I mean, the other one was perfect. This is a pierce above. And within such, it's got the next level at 47.13. And there's a big difference between 4,700 and 4,000. Close to 20%. And I think maybe for a small time, I'm going to be playing in at the 55 down to 44 level I meaning I'll still buy a 46 48 50 and 55 but the big order that I'm looking to purchase will probably now come at around 4,000 because within that I know that these things can have large moves so I have myself covered for that heck this thing could even fall to 3,000 or whatever but I have to think what number gives myself the best probability, and that's what I'll be looking at. Now, as far as the chart's concerned, this is extremely neutral. I really have no bias whatsoever. I do have uh, tokens back, so going up is not a bad thing for me. But if I'm looking to get back in, and I am, then I'm a little concerned that buying here for myself, at least for big scale is not going to work out well. So the strategy I'm choosing, as I've already stated, is about 4K. Within this market, because it was going up, it's had one downtrend, support has been established in here. You break down below these two key support levels, this thing could just go crazy, whoop ass to the downside. As far as the up move is concerned, any type of move above here would be establishing resistance. So you're looking at about 76 north, even up to about 83 to an area you'd look to establish something. Come back to some sort of uh, correctionary mode. Break it. And then this thing could go a hog wild to the upside for uh, all I know. I don't know probably would. This is a big indication of the move that something big is going to happen in either of the two directions but we gotta first get out of this range and who knows how long it's going to stay in it or if it's going to continue to maybe trade in an extended range well, time will tell as the market it's going to move as it wants to move or as it's going to move 
not much you can really do about it. But what you can do is manage your own risk. Try to put the best probabilities you can to get the best profitabilities, profitabilities that you possibly can. Take care.